guys, welcome back to the Hermitcraft server with your goat and his amazing gigantic flagpole. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, guys? Um, hope you have a good day. I am having a good day. The grind was real. We have great pl plans today, and uh, today I'm very, very stoked because yeah, Hive Might came through, aka you, with some very, very cool and funny stuff. Um, we want to try out today and show off. <laughs> uh, just love it. Uh, but first, as we always do, yes, check it out. The thumbnail fan art of the week of this episode by Yukon Err. <laughs> Thank you so much. Over on the Twitters, look at that amazing um, art style. I love this art style. Um, so cool. <laughs> you can see our gigantic flagpole, me chilling with the tomatoes. Man, I just love it. This is, uh, yeah, I can say it every episode is one of my favorite fan arts this season. But it's an endless stream of cool stuff. And I'm just so incredibly happy um, that this whole, you know, I'm going to feature your fan art thing turned out great. Um, it was a risk. Um, I want to quickly talk about my concerns about that for a second. Um, and as usual, of course, all the links to the new fan art in the video description. Make sure to support our fan artists. Well, I was afraid maybe people could claim, you know, Doc is trying to take advantage of the fan artists, you know, taking their work for free, right, and making better thumbnails because of that and so on. I was afraid people might come at me uh, like that um, because, yeah, well, uh, it is an argument to be had in theory. But thankfully, it turned out exactly the way I wanted and not at all. Um, people see my good intentions with it and it inspired a massive boost of fan art, um, especially, um, yeah, about Doc and the perimeter and the goat and all this stuff. And I get so many comments. Um, of fan artists really appreciating that yeah you know prominent featuring of their work and say they feel motivated and inspired uh, to do more and yeah to me you know ah these are the things that mean something to me uh, in this youtube world um really connecting and yeah just inspiring you to be creative and do cool stuff and i love it i it makes me extremely happy i'm so proud of you guys of that amazing art you produce um you know like when i when some friends come visit i always show them fan art you know like uh, fans that are not familiar with my youtube stuff i don't make a big deal out of that in my real life so to speak um, a bunch of my good friends don't even exactly know what i'm doing <laughs> i just say i'm online marketing and then nobody asks what it actually is but yeah lately i've been showing off this fan art and people be like what this is amazing people are doing this for you guys what can't believe it so yeah i'm super proud about that anyways um yeah Talking about cool stuff, right? The community does for me. Um, you know, I've been harassed by the slime down in the perimeter all the time, right? And people be like, ah, poor dog. Man, we gotta give him some good vibes with those tomatoes. And this might be the most fantastic thing I've ever seen. So all my slime has been turned into tomato plants. <laughs> the special tomato slime pack, I'll link it in the video description, i link the original Twitter post. And yeah, Yukon Err, who actually, uh, they made the fan art in this season, was also involved with that. I saw that later then. Um, yeah. And, um, yeah, the Lord Dinosaur uh, put the pack together. Thank you so much, guys. This is amazing. I mean, look at it. <laughs> Aww. And, you know, the sounds are also fitting. It's like juicy, yummy tomatoes. <laughs> oh, it looks fantastic. Oh, I just love it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it for a while. There's one thing, though, I wanted to get your feedback on. So, in the texture pack... 
or resource pack, how you call it these days, right? All slime block um, is now tomato. <laughs> Even, you know, your normal slime blocks like that. And I was thinking, hmm, does this make sense? Do we want to keep that too? You know, how does it look if everything is is tomato or do we just want to keep the tom uh, you know the li uh, live slime as tomatoes you give me feedback it kind of looks cool it adds kind of a new color wave to our builds here with the red i don't know let me know what you think um what do you like better there's another <laughs> cool feature though um you know with it and, uh, yeah that's also kind of funny <laughs> but yeah let's we, we need to chop some up wait oh, yeah, the big boys there <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, there's one of our of our golems. And in case you wonder where our king is, we need to do a say, uh, you know a rescue mission today. He got stuck in a hole over there. But yeah, let's chop let's chop chop a few slime up so you can see the drops. <laughs> <laughs> All the slime balls are little tomatoes. <laughs> oh man. Oh, this is just so cool. Thank you so much, guys. I, it gave me a good laugh. I've been giggling about this way too much in <laughs> when I see it again. Yeah, it's just cool. But yeah, safety mission, rescue mission. Let's see if that works. Um, the other day I was wondering, you know, I was needing a lot of copper for today's build. We're gonna keep on working on Hall of Goat and it's insane. Insane amounts of materials. But <laughs> I was, uh, you know, picking up copper here and then constantly uh, was being targeted by King. And I was wondering, where is King? And why does he always stick around over there? And then I saw it. King got actually stuck in one of the 2D poles here. Like, it looks like it. Yep. Yeah, he's stuck in a two wide hole. So we need to dash up to him and flood this thing somehow flood it with water so we can swim up i hope they, they, they can swim i think right so hopefully we can somehow get him out of there because him sitting there is really obnoxious uh, being targeted with his sonic boom all the time all right oh no don't oh yeah that worked king is free no <laughs> stop king relax there's some tomatoes to be had. <laughs> oh, the darkness. All right, all right. Yes. King broke free. Run. Run, King. <laughs> With your stubbly, stubby short legs. <laughs> oh, man. This is such a clown show down here in the perimeter by now. Giant tomatoes. This guy, he's going in. Holy moly. The lone surviving uh, iron golem of all the ones you put out here. Hey, hey, king, 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 relax. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the ultimate clash. Let's see. Oh, oh. Hey, there's giant. All right, all right, all right. He's like, now nah, I'm busy. I'm doing my tomato thing. Okay, okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, with a darkness effect. Stuff looks cool here. People were asking, how does Doc turn off his darkness effect? I saw there was a post on Reddit. It's like, what? Doc is turning off his darkness effect? I don't know about that. Man, but King is still... That is the crazy thing. Look at him. He's still tracking us. Let's lure him a little bit over here. King. Okay, now he gave up. Yeah, all right. He's, he's there now. What the heck is going on with all these bats here? <laughs> I mean, there's crazy stuff going on down here in the perimeter. Let's take a sleep and um, yeah, let's start our first project for today. I fiddled around with it a little bit and here it is. This is my prototype for an automated uh, record uh, playing system we have here on the server. But before we can test it, I mean, I tested it with regular uh, disks. We want to create our own custom disk. We want to create a disk with our anthem <laughs> we played last time. Our crazy hip hop song we made. Um, yeah, I'm going to tell you about that uh, a little bit too and how that came about. But yeah, we got to find a proper record. And if I'm not mistaken, right, I picked one up of the very rare 
um, Deep Dark Records um, with the weird song. People say, hey, you just got to give it a chance. But, you know, uh, some songs are just weird, man, even if you give them a chance. But I do know that I had one. Yes, that's it. Oh, man. Still got other side, the biggest bob ever. But okay, here, this is the number five crazy track. And now we have a command. I uploaded to s the song to our server here. And now I have to look up the command. And then we can create our custom record here. Let me quickly do that. I need to check the command. Tango was sending it to me. All right. Went to an anvil real quick and named this disk. And now we have this command we can use. Um, you know, the audio file we upload to our server gets an ID and then this ID gets assigned to this particular disk. And now our Epic Goat Anthem should be on this disk. And yeah, with the plugin we use, and I think this works on Bedrock like that, right? That you can auto inject uh, disks, uh, but pretty much, you know, if you have an inventory pointing in, Hopper pointing in, right? Yeah, baby. Optimize, automate, thrive. You know who the goat is as soon as I step in. It's what I'm rapping. Try to form against me, you won't prosper like the weapon. Yeah. Probably know me better as a legend. Unstoppable, like Samus in his armor. And then we can do Kalek. Right, and uh, we quickly unlock this hopper below. That's enough to suck the disc out, but it's only a short pulse. So the disc gets stored here. And then when we activate it again, we can press here. Boom, and the disc you know, slits over here, gets a delayed pulse, makes right. it into the hopper, Optimize and then back into the disc right. player. Yup. So that works really well. And it's pretty compact. I don't know um, if this is the most compact way to do it. I fiddled around with it for 10 minutes yesterday and came up with this thing. But it works. You can give inputs and activate and stop it. What will happen if the disk runs completely through? It will just stay in the recorder here. And if you press the reset button, good enough uh, to get it primed and ready again uh, to play. So that works too. A uh, quick note about the song, right? <laughs> So obviously, I worked on that again with Jono, um, which is uh, Ren's brother. Well, who is Ren's brother? <laughs> so it's kind of funny that we declare independence from Ren using a song um, done by his brother. Oh, hey, and looks like King is having some tomato down there. <laughs> so working on the song, I approached Jono and said, hey, I want to do another hip hop song like we did. Um, uh, before, like in season six, uh, you know, Super Weapon and so on, right? And uh, yeah, started to write some lyrics, put some ideas together, but quickly noticed, hey man, um, we need help. We need somebody who's really good at writing hip hop tracks, so it actually is super epic. So I passed on my notes to Jono, and he approached one of his friends. His name is Maj Majesty the God. <laughs> And he actually um, yeah, came up with all the lyrics, uh, putting them together in some cool hip-hop way. And then um, he uh, sent us a demo with his hip-hop, uh, with his vocals, right, to demonstrate the lyrics. And it sounded so good that I literally got intimidated by it. I was like, mate, wait a minute. This is a real decent hip-hop song. If I try to perform this, it will just be cringe, man. We need somebody that will help perform this. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, we got in touch with Luchi, also friend of Jono from LA, um, who's a real hip-hop artist. You know, all the links in the video description for the song. Check them out. They got uh, Spotify playlists too and stuff. And yeah, he then actually did the vocals and then, you know, we, we mixed it together. And in the end, um, yeah, the epic goat anthem was the result. And I was really, really pleased because, you know, let's face it, you know, I'm a middle-aged German dude, you know, I can make hip-hop songs that are a parody, but this one uh, that actually has decent flow and really good uh, lyrics and all, if I do that, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I enjoy doing these things, but you don't want to be cringe. Anyways, uh, we're going to take this setup now as it is uh, quite compact. And I'm gonna stick it somewhere up in here. Um, we'll find a spot where we can 
place it probably yeah right here is the beacon right away we can't put it on top i think it would interrupt our beacon beam so probably i build a little setup somewhere around here and um, then we can detect it like if somebody comes up here the hymn shall play i'm just debating how to do it well first things first um, you guys already asked why does doc have this giant glass shaft in here it's not using it well we need an elevator in here and that's the first bit we want to tackle and then uh, we have to do something today that might shock you we might have to grieve another hermit's build a little bit <laughs> We gotta hurry. The server is about to restart in three minutes. The daily restart is on a new time and it's the most obnoxious time. And pretty much I'm the only one on and then it restarts. Because yeah, I'm the only one that actually gets up early <laughs> in Europe. <laughs> so anyways, check this out. Scar's shop? Scar's redstone shop? It's called Tomato. What? <laughs> He definitely knows how to target, you know, their demographic uh, or customers. I mean, I just wanted to come and snatch some uh, comparators. I'm often way too lazy to yeah, uh, create these redstone bits and pieces. But eventually the perimeter will become completely independent. We will need to buy nothing. Oh yeah, server will restart in three minutes. You know, <laughs> so I'll, I need to hook up some redstone crafting grids and things that help me make redstone stuff. But actually I wanted to do one thing because I saw some cool fan art. Oh yeah. Somebody made cool fan art I saw on Reddit. Not about me, but um, you know, other hermits. <laughs> yes, it exists. And they made this beautiful piece of this area here this awesome archway b-dubs created and man like if you can say one thing b-dubs evolved his build style so dramatically this season it's completely unique like his build style working with these textures uh, so much is really completely unique and yeah we don't have to talk about pearl i mean <laughs> this must be by pearl if I'm wrong now, I'm sorry, other hermit, but this looks so pearly. I mean, what is it? What is it even? It's a giant dragon head. Oh, what's going on in here? Welcome to... But did you die? One stack, one diamond. Oh, dies is in here. All right. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this looks very pearlescent moon you let me know if not then we have an imposter hermit <laughs> all right wow that looks also cool i think that is joe's shop he moved up man we need to do an extended shopping trick a uh, trip one of these days and check out all the cool stuff there are so many epic things all right back to the perimeter now we can start building our elevator all right i'm doing my favorite thing crawl space redstone <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't really have much space here. Um, a one high gap to make things work. And yeah, here we have it. Um, our elevator setup. So it default is downwards. And if player walks up here, triggers that pressure plate, you know, the bubble column gets switched around, goes upwards and then stays on exactly as long as we need it a little bit longer to make it all the way up in the bubble column so we should see this thing switching any second now and actually i looked around on the youtubes if there is a simple setup uh, that is easily adjustable for elevators like that and i didn't really find anything so yeah let me quickly show you what's going on here um, it's relatively simple actually and um, here's a our redstone contact to the pressure plate and normally if you want to use pressure plates you always want to have spam protection so let's use this so we can look at it better so um, the first input comes in here and sends a signal to this block via this repeater and that is where our piston sits and pushes out um, you know the soul send block so that's the first trigger and then here is our spam protection that is a short delay circuit as you can see comparators right so we just come out of here with a four tick delay going into this block and from there we actually 
go to the real delay we need for the pushback. So we go over there and this is a pulse extender, right? This block and then the comparators here making the loop. And um, with the length of this chain here, you can adjust how long you know your piston stays um, put before it pushes back. Right, so if you even have a longer elevator, you can make this delay longer by adding more comparators uh, to it. But yeah, when that is done, we just have a simple falling edge detector here. That is that setup. So this will be powered. When the po then um, and when this unpowers again, we detect it via the observer here and the track, and then just simply send a signal in this piston. So what it, what it does is, if you trigger it. Let's look at it and then uh, you should be able to replicate it. We trigger it, right? So now we push this block over and also the delay circuits are on. As you can see, and we send a signal into the long delay circuit. And um, this is off now, right? So yeah, when this powers off, it takes some time. You know, you can adjust the time, how long it uh, holds the uh, redstone load. Here we go, it goes off and then we get a quick detection here and uh, yeah, we push back. And now all I have to do is um, fill this thing in up with water and then we can give it a test run and uh, ride all the way up and see if the timing is correct. For our main project today, I've been grinding resources for days. This is all smooth sandstone then a bunch of cut sandstone, then lots of birch logs, and then all this copper here. And um, yeah, we will hook that up <coughs> up in the Hall of Goat and actually um, start expanding. Because, you know, now as we have the Empire here, obviously our throne room needs to make some progress in our, yeah, you know, town hall, so to speak, our main building. Um, if you want to attract settlers, <laughs> you know, we gotta, we gotta show off. But yeah, talking about showing off, um, man, the banner turned out really great. Um, I have the full system in place now with the automatic uh, record, um, you know, how do you call it, automatic record player setup. And yeah, it goes like this. So if you approach down here, right, you could do your thing. And I just spotted a, a tiny flaw in the system here. Here, here check this out. Actually, if you, uh, you know, read through our declaration of independence here, <laughs> the lantern or the lectern will will trigger uh, those those trap doors here so yeah i might have to put a uh, permanent power source down there to kind of keep them up i think that should work but i don't have a full block here so you might have to live with this for now uh, <laughs> so there's that uh, even the goat is not flawless right and yeah now we step in here right and then the activator triggers obviously and it's a really cool effect riding up the elevator here um, with this yeah, super blue sky pretty sure I could do some crazy camera effects editing here with the blue that's a natural blue screen hmm all right and then you know you make it up here and then <laughs> our hymn plays the anthem and then you know You'll be kicking it up here with your epic tomato plants. Oversee your empire. Be happy. How far does it reach? Yeah, I have it sitting here right in the middle. So we good. Simple detection here. And yeah, talking about. Yeah, let's make motion pictures. Let's start laying out the Hall of Goat a bit. Unstoppable crew. You don't know who you dealing with, boy. Act tough and I give you one warning. I'm too skilled, homie. I can one shot of water. Here we go, the basic layout for Hall of Goat and we're gonna use the same tactics, you know, we used to create the front side here and it should look pretty epic. But as you can see, <laughs> we have a little bit of a problem. As expected, as I mentioned, 
right to the beginning of the season here. Um, yeah, Mambo's non-working slime farm is definitely in the way. Um, as you can see here is part of the structures. So yeah, we will have to chop it out. At least a part of it. And, um, you know, don't be mad now in case you are a new viewer. Of course, um, we replaced this uh, farm already. A few episodes back, uh, we created an insane slime farm that is super highly efficient. That is like a hundred times better than this thing. <laughs> so, you know, I was waiting for Mambo to come back um, before I touch his um, setup here. But turns out Mambo's biking trip takes a bit longer than expected. <laughs> You know, in case you don't know, he's he's biking. I mean, he's on a crazy trip to through Europe and, you know, all the way to Italy or something. <laughs> and yeah, he's in it uh, full time, <coughs> biking like a madman. And it takes really longer than expected. So I thought, all right, now I cannot wait any longer. Hall of Goat needs to be constructed. And I think it will be fine. He'll be pretty happy when he comes back. Um, to get a way better slime farm than before. <laughs> and yeah, I'll start chopping here and then, um, yeah, we keep on working. But before we do that, I wanted to do one thing. Um, for a while, I've been holding on to these frogs here now. Um, you know, I bought them in uh, Joe Hills' crazy shop. All, all, everything Joe Hills does is crazy. So he <laughs> named them, it's like Vintage Leap. Froxander Hoppington, <laughs> Tadpoles with Scars, okay, Thaddeus, Ito's Lab, Ito's Lab, oh my god, the puns, Swimini Tay, <laughs> Toad Go Patek, <laughs> I think we want to release Vintage Leap in our pond out there, I think that should be you know, not grown up frogs yet, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here you go, Vintage Leap. Enjoy your new home. Um, I don't, like, are frogs somehow attracted to going into the water? Will they hang out around water more or are they just free roaming? Wait, there is a frog already. Wait, what? Who are you? Why is the frog here? Who put you here? What? It's not named. Wait. If you put a... Like, when they grow up, will they lose their name tag maybe or something? I'm mighty confused. Well, I, I, I was thinking I heard some croak in here. There's a frog here. Huh? Can they naturally spawn? I don't think so, right? They're kind of pre gen Or did a frog spawn in here? What is going on? I'm... I'm very confused. All right. So far, so good. I built up one corner here and I'm just gonna follow the same tactics again. You know, stacking up on these walls and then uh, we get these lines that are super consistent all around the build that bring in some order and then we spread chaos again with tomato plants. <laughs> but yeah, this um, should look pretty cool, but it is a massive build. It, it'll, uh, it'll take me a few hours now to grind, grind that out and I guess it's time for another podcast and um, yeah, erecting some walls. Let's go to finish this bit here for now and then we'll see how it goes. But yeah, still lots of work to do. <laughs> Always these big builds, man.
but surely we get an impression of size in here. And yes, they turn out great, the internal structures. Of course, it all needs way more work, but yeah, we are <laughs> oh, our banner. Epic. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this feels cool. This feels cool. It's a lot of work. I've been at it for like six hours now or so. But yeah, yeah, huge progress today again. But the grind's been real in the last uh, few episodes. You know, that's the thing. If you do these crazy, uh, you know, exploits and so on, they are technically not as much building work most of the time. But of course, tons and tons and hours and hours of research go in there. And I really have to use my time always wisely. Now with the kid being here and so on, right? Doggy family life um, either i spend time developing new builds like this or um, you know spend time messing around with all the exploits so i cannot do both at the same time that's definitely what i'm feeling at the moment yeah it's uh, family life is definitely a different challenge with this youtubing but so far i think uh, we managed to do it fairly well but yeah the massive hall of goat here and um, we will have spots open right here for example and I was wondering if I should stick some farms in there. You know, at the moment we're always uh, around, uh, short on paper, for example. And uh, if we knock that out and hook up some sugarcane farms, maybe in some of the openings here, we should be fine. Um, then we are, you know, independent when it comes to rocketry. Uh, that would be pretty great. Because, yeah, you know, creeper farm down there. But yeah, I think that turned out really cool. We will use similar, you know, designs here with, uh, with the grass and, uh, you know, lush areas in between here, but not everywhere. Um, should flow well. And next up on the agenda would be to hook up the basic roof shape. So we have that in place. And yeah, with the roof then being there, or at least basic foundation for the roof we can see how far we can get today i'm in the building groove so i'll keep on going a little bit longer i have some more <laughs> blocks <laughs> in the tank so to speak right and uh, yeah we get still a lot of sandstone that needs to be used so let's go let's let's keep on grinding man hall of goat needs to rise Man, oh man, <laughs> this is a pretty epic build in my book. Oh, okay, yeah, but we need to sleep. <laughs> and I need to sleep, man. This is a crazy grind. Now, so we should go up to the platform, but we made huge progress today. This is pretty cool. I'm very stoked about that. All right, let's take a quick nap here and then... Um, yeah, we need to check out how it feels to walk into the Hall of Goat and all. How is my rocket situation? Uh, okay, I got a bunch of stacks. <laughs> yeah, at some point your inventory just gets chaotic. And um, by the way, Frog Hedged. I saw Vintage Leap somewhere at some point. Um, and Vintage Leap kept his name but now i don't see any vintage leapage anymore and this this dude here is is still here though sit on the edge you know is that a okay wait that's a slime down there right oh yeah tomato slime <laughs> i don't know where did the frog go now i wanted to show you off my new frog it was a orange one hello froggy uh, we got a frog loose. I hope he didn't fall fall down into the perimeter, but I think they are fall damage resistant, like most jumpy mobs would be. Is there any frog down here? He could be anywhere. This lava hole, for example. <laughs> Where did he go now? Ah, well, it, uh, it hatched. Our experiment confirmed that um, it kept the name tag and maybe wha I, I released one of the frogs but now it's confirmed that this one has no name tag something's froggy is going on How, 
where did this frog come from? <laughs> the mystery of the frog. Okay, um, yeah, but now it's time to be impressed, all right? Songbirds. Oh, baby. Man. Yep, we're reaching epicness here slowly but surely. I mean, I need to hear, I'm not fully done, you know, as you can see, some of the stone structures are missing sandstone structures. But here I will have huge windows and stuff and I first need to grind for a ton of sand and, you know, smelt glass. I need tons of uh, green glass and uh, that should be cool. Yeah, shoveling sand is really a tedious job now since, you know, shadow technology is broken. Um, some people might or might not look into it at the moment if there's any way to pull it off but you know they patched it good this time um, but you know there's way to update suppress um, and that is the first step but yeah developing things like that take time i just thought there was a frog sitting up there on the corner but yeah frog's gone maybe it's in swamp hmm we will we will recover it and um, of course you know also i will have to do so much terraforming around here right now i pretty much just chewed out or bit out like exactly the spot we need or space we need but obviously all this terrain needs to be leveled out and then made flow nicely into the surrounding areas again uh, same on this side here and so on is like and then look at the perimeter we need to do all the walls the floor Yo, we have more than enough things to do. But yeah, here with the roof, I wanted to have some thickness in the roof. It was a great idea by Jeromus then how it was implemented. Um, really cool, you know, when you when you walk inside and look up, the ceiling really, really, really looks impressive and massive. We will have glass windows in between there, right? and. Yeah, here we will also have some, some plantations again, uh, as we do in the other terrace-like structures. And of course here as well, but also some more windows back here um, to let us a lot of sun in. I mean, this looks very intricate right now, um, but yeah, we're, we're getting there. In my creative world, we're a little bit ahead already in the planning, um, but yeah, um, almost caught up now. So it's uh, time, you know, we put more time into yeah, further designing this here. But yeah, I think this will look really, really cool. Obviously, lots of detailing needs to be done. Right now, there's uh, huge sandstone walls, right, uh, all around you. Uh, that's a bit boring, so to speak. Um, so, but yeah, that will all change over time. Some great plans for this place. But yeah, really, really happy. Built heavy episode, indeed. Uh, last one, too. I gotta be careful, man. Like, um, Sometimes, you know, I think maybe not everybody realizes how much work actually goes into these builds. Like the other day I was thinking, man, like we spent hours, like, uh, I don't know, 20 or something more hours designing this thing in a creative world. Because, you know, it's not about building it, it's coming up with an idea. Same with Hall of Goats and then um, you go on this insane resource grinds like um takes hours to get the resources and then hours and hours of building and then you know it's this quick 20 second time lapse in a video um but it's hard you know these days as a youtube minecraft content creator and you know with the level we reach by now here on hermitcraft with the quality of stuff we put out to really convey this because you know if you really show the resource grind I mean, people will say, what a sh crappy episode. <laughs> you know, I mean, come on, you didn't do any progress. So, you know, it's always this balance. Live streams are good to do the resource grind on the side, kind of a little bit, I feel. But yeah, uh, for me, you know, I have to throw in the resource grind kind of in between uh, when I have time with, uh, with little one and family and so on. Um, still, of course, um, I'll try to be as good as a father as I can, right, and spend as much time as possible. So I cannot really live stream at the moment, unfortunately. <laughs> when outside ruckus is going on, I can hear a little doggy uh, mom playing and laughing and giggling. And um, yeah, I'd say for me, um, it's also time to join them now and hang out a little bit. It's been a long day. I've been yeah, spending 12 hours today. <laughs> 
just playing Minecraft, editing in between and all the stuff you do uh, to make these episodes a reality. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, we did some crazy building. Um, maybe it's time to go back to some more technical exploiting. But um, yeah, we said not so many distractions anymore. As of now, things are pretty calm and quiet here. Although when I was briefly browsing YouTubes before, um, I saw a video titled by Impulse that is called I Started a Resistance. So yeah, we might see the mighty Hermit Kingdom, <laughs> kingdom here of Ren crumbling. And um, we will see. We will see. I know some people are loyal to the king. We stay neutral. See, our flag kind of expresses that. It is uh, the white flag. So we're not, you know, attacking anybody. But we have a freaking goat on there. That means if you come too close, you know, taste these horns. <laughs> or, you know, we, we generally have a peaceful message. We just say, whomever wants to escape the monarchy, or who su uh, you know whomever seeks refuge here on the hermitcraft server is welcome is welcome they can live in the perimeter with all the tomatoes and king you know <laughs> prime real estate i would say <laughs> all right guys <laughs> i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching uh, i'm out and where is king again Wait, King? <laughs> I'll have a look. Bye!